Hey friends, and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. I am Shantae, and here we have the lovely Kaylani, my middle child. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you three ways to style ponytails. Yes, that is it, just two simple ponytails. There's so many ways to style and so many variations. So we're gonna talk about how we achieve these looks, the products she used, and a little bit about her hair maintenance for the week. Let's get into it. So of course, before we go any further, let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, bestie, hey mama, hey friend. Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So here we have Kelani here. So last week we did a wash day video just to kind of give a more detailed look into Kelani's wash day and her hair routine and just a little bit about her hair. So here she is freshly washed and I'm going in with a parts going from ear to ear across the crown of her head and of course I always go in with some gel because I love crisp and clean parts now as far as them being straight that is a different story but they are some clean parts so for the back I wanted to just do like a braid out North Carolina weather is warming up and the humidity is out and Kehlani loves wearing her hair out all of my girls loving their love wearing their hair out so every now and then I indulge and I allow them to you know represent their curls so I'm doing a simple braid here and I went in with the Aunt Jackie's not having it and it is a very light whipped detangling cream like a leave-in conditioner kind of cream and I love using it on Kehlani and Callista so then I'm going in with some gel, the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel, and I'm adding that to her edges and smoothing it out with a bristle brush. And then I am going in with a single black rubber band to secure it at the base. And I wanted to do some Bantu knots. So all I do is just twist her hair and wrap it around into a circle. Now you have to be careful with Bantu knots. You do not want to make these really tight because it can cause a lot of tension at the scalp of the hair and can cause extreme breakage. I'm gonna lay her edges real quick and I didn't go in with any accessories I kept this hairstyle pretty simple it was a school day her last day of school so I kept it simple and cute I'm then gonna go in with the BTL hair and scalp oil I love this stuff it smells so freaking good it smells like mangoes and pineapples so once I take out her braid the next morning after it has dried this is what she is looking like it is a little bit frizzier than I had wanted it to be but it'll still work for school so now we're moving on to the second hairstyle for this hairstyle I had to rewash her hair because we did go swimming so this is her freshly washed once again and I I decided to do some braids now I originally saw this hairstyle on Northwest and I wanted to kind of put my own little twist to it and it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to so I ended up pretty much doing it how Northwest has it so what I'm doing is creating this small skinny braid here right down the middle of her hair and I'm doing two braids on each side of that part and I have to do these kind of small now the trick here is that I am not very good at doing cornrows on Kehlani's texture when it comes to my texture and Kalia's no problem with Kehlani's it's a little bit harder I have to definitely take my time because her hair is thinner she doesn't have as much texture as me and Kalia but that just takes time and of course patience so then I'm going to smooth out her hair and pretty much create those same ponytails that I created in the first hairstyle but I didn't much like that and I ended up changing it at the end. So with the back, instead of doing a braid out like we did in a previous style, I actually want to do her curls like I usually do it whenever I do like a ponytail hairstyle. So I'm going in with some water as well as the Pretty Strands leave-in conditioner to re-moisturize her hair as well as to wet it. And then I'm going in with the Poppin' Pineapple by Curls. And this is the leave-in conditioner. Smells so good. I love that it makes Kelani smell like a tropical rainforest. I don't know what it is about summertime, but I love those tropical hair products that the smells are addicting. I'm then going to go in with the Poppin' Pineapple Jelly, and it's pretty much just a gel. And I smooth that through, add some more water because we want her hair to be wet. 
and I'm going in with my Bore Bristle Brush, smoothing that product through, and then I just twirl it and create this nice spiral. Do not touch the spiral at all until it is completely dry. And you're gonna do this throughout the whole head, work in small sections. If you're having a hard time getting that spiral to work for you, it's probably because your section might be a little too big. So just try a little bit smaller and make sure you're smoothing that hair up. We do not wanna twirl no tangled hair. So once that is all done, I clump all the hair together and just do this squishing method. And you should be able to see some of that product kind of kick back when you do that squishing method. If not, her hair is not wet enough. And having her hair wet is what's gonna be key to getting those curls to look gorgeous. Do they not look gorgeous right now, okay? So like I mentioned before, I didn't like the two little pigtails that we did in the front. So what I ended up doing is taking those small pigtails out and just dividing her hair in half from the forehead to the nape of the neck to create two high ponytails. And that's what you see me doing here. And I actually like this style a whole lot better. Her curls look great absolutely love styling Kehlani's curls like this and then I take that small braid that we did and I just wrapped it around the base of the ponytail so it's literally just like the Northwest hairstyle I I did secure it with a rubber band because I didn't want to go in with any hairspray because I do plan on restyling her hair. Her styles last no more than two to three days. And that is it for this look and we're going to move on to the last look, look number three. So for this one, again, we're doing pigtails, but I decided to go with some low pigtails or ponytails instead of the high ones. So I also wanted to do a side part instead of the straight down the middle part. So I started off doing a deep side part and then I kind of like bring it back over to the middle and continue it straight down to the nape of her neck so this is going to create her first small ponytail right here make sure you go in with gel gel is definitely going to be your best friend to keep this hairstyle sleek and smooth and I'm going in with my brush to smooth that all out make sure you detangle because we do not want to put no tangled hair into a ponytail I'm going in with the two black rubber bands at the same time this just helps give me a lot more like durability with the rubber bands sometimes those rubber bands can pop and get a little finicky I smooth it out using my tangle teaser and then the same way we kind of twirl that hair in the second hairstyle I'm doing the same thing for these ponytails as well but this time I'm not going to separate them now I did not go in with any additional product because that curling jelly that we used from the second hairstyle there still was a lot of residue and built up product in her hair from that and I just felt like adding more product was just going to cause a problem and cause her hair to be really really stiff so that gel has a really good hold that I was able to restyle it in a second hairstyle with the only product me adding was gel now moving on to the second half so since we did that side that deep side part we have this nice like side swoop going on with the other ponytail use a lot of gel to make sure that stays laid a lot of gel and I mean a lot of gel I I thought it might have been too much but once I smoothed it out using my fine tooth comb and my brush it was the perfect amount it added so much shine and the product always smells good too because i love hair products that smell good And then I decided to go in with some hair clips going down the side swoop. I had Kehlani pick out these colors and she did really good picking out these colors. They kind of coordinated and I really liked it. I was like, oh snap, my baby got an eye for color. So I'm adding those going, I added six I believe, going down the side swoop. And I just wanted to create like this, you know, 2000s kind of throwback vibe. It looks super cute. And I always love a dope but throwback aesthetic vibe. And that is going to complete Kehlani's hairstyles for the week. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another video. Do not forget to check out our other videos on the girls' hair care. And we will see y'all next weekend for another video. Thank you guys for joining us. Be blessed and be safe.